Notwithstanding Kate Upton showing up at my apartment with a box of crepe cupcakes, a bottle of wine, and baby oil, there are a few things in this world with the visceral appeal of a full-size handgun chambered in 45 ACP. 9mm are functional wonders, and is to me the most sensible round in many cases. But a full-size 45 transcends rhyme or reason. It's the ultimate just-because handgun, and arguably, one of the coolest. There are times a girl will gain a little weight, and as a result, one of two things will happen. A. She gets self-conscious and tries to hide it. Or B. She realizes some dudes like their girl's BBW and owns it. And that confidence makes her even sexier. The FNX 45 Tactical is the thick girl that owns it. Guns like the HK 45 Tactical try to hide their mass by being sort of kind of a single stack. And it's kind of annoying because you don't really gain much from the slight loss in mass, but you lose more in capacity. Everything on the FNX 45 Tactical is thick. The magazine is thick. The base plate on the magazine is thick. The magazine release, the safety decocker, the takedown lever, the slide, the hammer, the sights, they're all thick, but very proportioned, and it makes the gun look kind of arousing. The FNX 45 Tactical's grip fills up my hand without feeling overwhelming. The keep it simple stupid grip texture is effective, but looks more grippy than it really is. It can start sliding on you a bit if your hands are a little too moist. The bore access is actually pretty good, but you don't really realize it until you pick it up and hold it in your hands. Again, its thickness is well proportioned, so it's well balanced and points incredibly well. Because all of the controls are as big as the letters on your grandmother's computer, they're naturally intuitive and easy to engage. Releasing the magazine, putting in the magazine, racking the slide, working the safety and shooting the gun feels like it was a gun designed for idiots who love guns with exposed hammers. This gun is almost comically loaded with features, as if trying to overcompensate for something. But for grip safety, this gun has every feature you can put on a modern handgun. Everyone likes to drool over the rear cutout for RMRs and other optics, and rightfully so. But in my opinion, the raised Trijicon night sights are underrated. I love these sights. They pick up so fast and naturally, I find myself turning off the RMR just using the iron sights just because. This gun is completely ambidextrous, for all you left-handed weirdos. However, the pre-cut mounting base for RMRs or whatever whiz-bang tactical optic you decide to adorn your gun with is admittedly really cool. An RMR looks so natural on this gun, I'd almost argue that it come permanently affixed to it. Your eyes can't help but notice the 5 inch threaded barrel begging for a silencer co off spray. I almost felt bad I didn't have one to put on it. But you can thank the ATF and their disrespectfully long waiting periods for suppressors for that. The trigger is one of the more impressive double action single action triggers I've seen. The double action pull is predictably long, but incredibly smooth. In many ways, the smoothness of the trigger neutralizes the heavy weight of the first double action trigger pull, so you don't really notice the weight that much. I thought the double action pulls on cars were smooth, but I think the FNX 45 Tactical has it beat. However, the wall of the trigger pull is slightly numb, and the reset has a bouncy feel that some people may not like. But this bouncy sensation has an almost rhythmic quality to it, which I believe makes shooting at speed a bit easier. The biggest drawback with guns chambered in 45 is the lack of capacity compared to its 9mm counterparts. Guns like the HK45 Tactical have only a 10 round capacity, or guns like the Glock 21 which have 12, which is admittedly admirable, but the overachieving FNX 45 Tactical carries 15 rounds. The HK USP is damn near the same size, and it carries 15 rounds of 9mm. The FNX 45 Tactical is a host gun that invites tactical perversion. It taunts you every chance it gets to throw another gadget on it. And before you know it, you have an FNX 45 Tactical with a surefire light, Osprey can, Trijicon RMR, and a gun that has on more accessories than mystery at a pickup artist seminar. And I love it. Shooting the FNX 45 Tactical is really amusing. 
With all of its tactical garnishments, it makes shooting the gun a different experience compared to other guns. Its recoil isn't exactly super soft as it is predictable. You know exactly what the gun is going to do every single time. It's not a particularly fast shooting gun either. If I wanted a fast shooting 45, I'd go with the 1911. Because with an RMR, the thick stainless steel slide and a raised night sights, there's just too much mass to move around for it to be a quick shooting gun. Transitioning from target to target is like swinging a weighted baseball bat. There's no beating around the bush. This gun is heavy. But it's more due to all of the extras on the gun than it is the gun itself. But it's clearly not a lightweight. In all, I love how unapologetically tactical this gun is. But it's more civilian tactical than special ops tactical. I know this gun was developed for the US Joint Pistol Program for people who speak in acronyms and call everyone Roger. But to my eyes, it looks like a gun designed for a hardcore gun enthusiast who loves the 45 ACP and wants a self-contained home defense pistol that's ready for just about any situation he may find himself in. FNA set out to create a tactical marvel. Instead, they created a gun with an incredible amount of personality, ease of use for a hammer-fired gun, shootability, and an extensive cool factor at a price that isn't cheap, but very competitive if not the most competitive out of any other gun in its class. This gun is a home defense powerhouse if you exploit its tactical perversion by adding a light, RMR, and suppressor. It also doesn't hurt that it's one of the coolest full-size 45 ACP handguns on the market today.